can you imagine yourself without the music? No, not really. It's such a, a, a central part of my life. I can't imagine music not being in it. Since I had any conscious memory, the music was always part of it. With my father, with my mother, the music they played in the house, the, the feeling of enjoyment and excitement. You know, I decided at age six, this is going to be my life. Music has to be the most incredible form of communication. It goes beyond language, it goes beyond words, it can reach places in your soul like nothing else can. It was always about the enjoyment of music and the emotion that I felt for music way before I even understood anything about fame or money or attracting the opposite sex. It isn't a good way to meet girls. Really, the best is Tinder. <laughs> I've never been on Tinder. I don't know. It was only supposed to be a short -term thing. Bruce contacted me and he sent me two songs, I think, Final Thing on My Mind and In Exile. I listened to the songs and I immediately had some ideas about how I could contribute to this. And I really liked it. So I said, okay, I'll be happy to record this. He encouraged me to do whatever I wanted to do, including rearranging the songs. I would say, you know, there's a bit in the middle here, Bruce. It kind of goes on quite a long time with nothing really happening. Would you mind, in this section, if I change the time signatures every now and then, just to give it a different shape? And he said, oh yeah, I like surprises. Put the handkerchief in stuff in my fist there. <laughs> Might have to do a take two on this one. Hey! Yeah! You didn't really speak, did you? Happy how's it, everybody? Yeah! It's very rare that I get sent something that I enjoy playing so much. I really liked them all, and it was a nice vibe. I enjoyed the music. There were so many things that I've been always looking for. I thought this is a band uh, I, I really enjoy working with. I mean, they're assholes, but uh, I enjoy them. Yeah, just warm up on a practice pad. It's quite a normal thing for a drummer to do. Just a load of nonsense, really. Well, it's too early to warm up. the test with my trumpet. Do. That's the way I like to warm up for the drum. When you have a really good night, the band is playing well, it sounds good, the audience are enjoying it, it's a really amazing feeling. And it's that moment that you are striving to achieve every time. And it's that memory of that moment, that's what you're craving. I think that's the motivation that you're always hoping that tonight is gonna to be one of those nights that everything comes together. That's really the best feeling you can have from the point of view of a performer. Unlike a job where you work in an office and you can call them in the morning and say, I don't feel very well, I'm not coming in today. You can't do that when you've got a lot of people who paid a ticket, traveled to a town to come and see you play because you've got food poisoning or you've got flu or something. You've still got to go on and play. I've never missed a performance, no matter how ill I've been. The adrenaline does help you when you get on stage your cold, your flu, your food poisoning, or anything like that does tend to go away when you get into performance mode. But it's always there. I sound like a total hypochondriac, don't I? I called on Jan Maria and I said, 
can you get me a bucket? I'm going to be sick. And he ran off. And then he came back after one minute and he said, what? When you're drumming, you see, it's hard to explain something to someone. Maybe you've got something very technical. You need to say to them, the remote pedal of the double pedal, the centre bar, I think one of the screws is loose. It's hard to say that whilst you're drumming. I said, a bucket? Vomito. I don't know, where do you say in Italian? Ah, ah, okay. And then he ran off and came back with a bag. It's fine, a bag and a, and a towel, it's fine. You burp inside and <laughs> in your mouth. I hope this isn't the center, the center piece of this interview, is me talking about throwing up. But I got a bag in, in the end, a nice bag, and I managed to not throw up. It was only supposed to be a shot.